Hey everyone, welcome back. I am headed out to my camera that I have mounted up on a tree and I am switching out the batteries. I know that some batteries last longer than others and I've kind of learned that lesson on this last set of batteries that I put in. I put in some Duracell. They didn't last all but a month. And I don't know if it's due to constantly putting out a, trying to get a signal for cell service or or what, but I'm going to change them out with a, a different brand, Railback. I'm, I'm just trying things out. <laughs> Macy's running around. Macy, come on. She's loving it. And uh, I know lithiums, a friend of mine said, that's probably the better way to go. I don't know if it's recommended in these cell cameras or not, but they, they got constant power until they're absolutely out. There's no, um, drainage until they're completely dead, so. Like I said, I'll probably end up coming out here, changing them again before deer season. Bow hunting starts in like three weeks here in Wisconsin. And I don't bow hunt. I just got a camera out just for a novelty thing, just to see what's out here. And just for the videos and to see what kind of bucks and does and fawns are out here. I don't have any kind of solar panel. I thought about it, but yeah. I'll just use batteries. I went to go look for some lithium at our fleet farm that we have. They were all out. They're expensive. So I bought the rail vac. I'm sure they're not going to last long either, but we'll see if they last longer than what the Duracells did. Come along with me. We'll do this all together. You, me, and Macy. Oh wow, look at this. Pheasant's back. That wasn't there a couple weeks ago. That's cool. So I'm here at the tree. Obviously, I showed you the, the pheasant's back. And, and what I'm going to do now is I brought a snips along. What's really irritating is some of this stuff grows... The vegetation grows and it ends up in front of the lens of the camera the eye of the camera and it causes the the camera to take pictures so i'm gonna trim some of this up i'm gonna trim that see when the wind's blowing pretty decent obviously it takes a picture of that and wastes space on the card and what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna lower the camera a little bit I have a, a, a mock licking branch so all I see is deer from this height up so I'm gonna lower the camera and turn it this way a little bit more that way I don't get that tree in most of the shot. Okay, I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut this one. That ain't going to be a problem. Someday it might. Uh, what else? I think I might cut some of that, that grass down. That might cause an issue.
Oh, actually, I didn't have uh, Duracell in there. I had Energizer Max. Well, note to self now, not to use these. They take two, four, six, eight batteries. All right, the, I changed the batteries out. I lowered the camera a little bit. And what I forgot was, it's in the truck. I don't want to walk back and walk back here and then walk back again. It's kind of warm out already, hot and humid again. Supposed to hit the 90s tomorrow, low 90s, humid. And they've been coming to this branch, a doe. There was a nice buck here yesterday. And hopefully, you can see in the, the background, I have the camera on the tree. This should be pretty well even or right in line with the, the branch and moved over a little bit and lower. And I cut all, most some of that, I don't wanna be here too much. Um, I don't see, I used a mock scrape generator. I don't see any kind of other digging around, but maybe in the next couple weeks it will. But look at this. There is a lot of deer activity, not only because of the cameras telling me so, but just out of camera sight. All the, the soybeans are, are nipped off. The leaves, leaves are nice and tender. They like that. Um, yeah, look at all this. They're just going to town on the soybeans all the way around here. All the, all the tops are nibbled off all the way around here, over there. All right, I, I can't count. It doesn't take eight batteries, it takes 12. And look at this deer print, this hoof print. Holy crap. It's a fair size hoof print. Wow. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Someone said that I should get my bowl license, but I haven't practiced in a long time with my compound. I still haven't ordered any arrows for the longbow yet. And I really haven't shot that longbow in probably about two months. I was doing it pretty steady, but the person I got it from, Carl, he said I'd probably shoot a lot better, a lot different. It'd probably have to probably have to um, retrain myself with the new arrows instead of the ones that I have. But that wasn't the plan this year to bull hunt. Maybe I'll get my compound ready for next year, but I have to take that in and I'd probably have to do a lot of, a lot of conditioning on my shoulder, shoulders, even doing push-ups kind of hurts my shoulder so and just laying on the ground pushing myself up yeah it doesn't uh, feel good thought about a crossbow but I really don't want to go that route just yet so and there's a lot of controversy with crossbows compound bows seasons and this and that I don't want to be part of that part of that argument just yet but she's loving it right Macy right you loving it huh
<laughs> a dog sitting for my son and daughter-in-law. Yeah. She needed that to come out here. Well, I'm almost back to my truck. Time to get back into the AC. Head back and do some things around the house. I got a joke. I haven't had a joke in quite a while. A blind man walks into a bar. Then a table. Then a chair. Poor guy. <laughs> Enjoy the little things. Macy, you pooped? Macy. Are you pooped out already? 